Hello and welcome to a quick overview of Autodesk Softimage 2013. Softimage is a high performance 3D computer graphics application for producing 3D computer graphics, 3D modeling and computer animation. When you open Softimage, you will see a single viewport window. There are a few methods to navigate in the viewport. The current navigation system is set to Autodesk Maya. Press Alt and left mouse button to orbit around in the viewport. Press Alt and middle mouse button to pan left or right in the viewport. Press Alt and right mouse button to dolly. To reset the view, Click on the camera icon on the top of the viewport and click reset from the drop down list. You can also have multiple viewports open at the same time. Click on the maximize minimize button on the top right corner to access multiple viewports. We now see the top, front, right and perspective viewports. You can click the maximize and minimize button on any of the viewports to expand its view. You can also click the drop down list in the top left corner to access any other views in the same viewport. You can access different modes of the software like model, animate, render from the top menu. You can also navigate these modes through the drop down list on the top left. You can see the options changing below as you click on different modes. To add an object into the scene, go to the modeling mode. Under the modeling mode, go to primitives, polygon mesh, select any of the objects to add. Let's add a sphere. As soon as you click on the sphere, the object appears in the viewport along with the window to adjust the properties of the object. Once you're done with adjusting the parameters, you can close the window. The viewport display is currently set to wireframe. To change this, just click on the drop down list on the top right and set it to shaded. If you want to access the object's properties at any point of time, click on the object and press enter. If you want to access some of the additional properties of the object, press alt and enter. To move the object in the viewport, click on the T button here or press W on the keyboard. This will activate the transformation tool. To move the object on a specified axis, click and hold on the X, Y or Z arrow and drag the mouse along the axis to move the object. You can also click and hold the center of the transformation tool and move the mouse to move the object freely in the scene. To rotate the object, press E on the keyboard and rotate along the X, Y or Z axis. Similarly, to scale the object, press R on the keyboard. Let's also add another object to the scene. To add a light in the scene, go to the rendering mode. Here, go to primitives, light. Here you can see various kinds of lights that can be added. Let's add a point light. You can adjust the properties of the light from the window. 
To get a preview of the lighting in the scene, go to the drop down list on the top right of the viewport and uncheck the headlight option. Now you can see the lighting in the scene. Place the light where you wish. Now let's add material to our objects. To add material, go to View, Rendering Texturing and click on Material Manager. In the Material Manager, click on Material, Create New Material. Now double click on the material to open its properties. You can change the properties of your material here. To add a material to the object, just drag the material onto the object. To get the render preview of your scene, just click the preview button under the render mode. This is how the scene looks after rendering. So this was a quick overview of Autodesk Soft Image 2013. Thanks for watching.